Before we get into this video, I just want to say that this build video actually came about from him seeing that I was selling the TE stickers on the last video. So when he first DM'd me, I tried to get a deal going. I said, hey, if you'd be down to film one of your cars, I'll give you these for like 20 bucks. Coincidentally, his birthday was like two days ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it to him for free because he agreed to do the build video. And honestly, what's 50 bucks going to do for me? It's not any money, really. So yeah, hopefully he enjoys the TE stickers, uh, he's been looking for a different red and I hope these stickers work out for him. But if it doesn't, at least it was free. So happy birthday to him. So my name is Salvador and this is my M340. I bought it back in August and at the time, you know, I was looking for a new car. I wanted like a sedan because I have a Q60 as well and I didn't need more space. So I was looking online. I remember seeing the M340s. I love the platform. I was looking through online and this is honestly the best one I could find. The only thing I do regret is like the mileage. It's at 50k miles. So for the price that I paid, I probably could have found something with a little bit less miles. It's just that this one had pretty much the, had the ambient lighting, the remote start, the upgraded speakers and a heads up display. Pretty much everything I was looking for. So the only thing I had to sacrifice was the miles. First things first would be the wrap. Um, I had uh, under this wrap is white. But honestly, there's a lot of white M340s, and every time I go to a car meet, it would just be strictly white M340s. So I was like, yeah, I gotta change this up. It's my first time ever doing a wrap, and I went with the, it's a color from TinyBot. It's called Juicy Dragon Scale Red. I know a lot of people do ask for it. And then, yeah, that's the main thing is the wrap. Other than that, I did like the carbon eyelids that not really anybody has on these cars. I did the lip. At first, I did want to do mainly just gloss black parts, because I already did enough carbon on the Q60 that I was like, over time, it just ends up getting, you know, worn out, so. I'm getting more into carbon now, but I did the, the lip, I did the carbon mirror caps, and one of my favorite things was the wheels. I did get these off of Fresh Kicks' M340, um, came with the center caps. It is lowered on H&R springs. I did the carbon spoiler as well. I did a diffuser, and the boys over at midnight with the, the license plate frame. Shout out Revo, Thanks bro. <laughs> and then- and Yeah, uh, I just blacked out some things as well. I did like the black M340 badge. Um, did the roof wrap yeah just little things so for the exhaust setup i did go with the valve exhaust it is pretty much like the valvetronic one just a little bit i would say it's just off brand it still has the same options and everything and yeah i love how it sounds honestly came with the carbon tips why don't you talk about your future plans with the m340i so for future plans one of the main things i got to do would be change the caliper color let me know if you guys have any suggestions under in the comments because the blue is just not it i feel <laughs> like it's throwing it off i was thinking maybe like a gray color something silver because I don't know if I want to do red, honestly. Other than that, I definitely want to tune it soon because right now it is just downpipe and exhaust. I want to change those headlights for sure to get the laser lights. Maybe thinking about doing the yellow DRLs. Still thinking about that as well. Pros and cons of the M340i. So I'll start off with the cons because there's honestly not many. I would say the number one cause would just be the brake dust. But I know that's probably an easy fix once you get like the ceramic pads and everything. The cons, I mean, there's a lot of cons. I would say one, the B58 that's in it. Um the sound i love how it sounds as well because like i said i do have a q60 as well and honestly the exhaust setup on that isn't the greatest but compared to this you know i love this it's a 10 out of 10. um honestly just like the space as well that comes with it there's a lot of room in this car this is my first time in an m340i um it does have a similar interior to the g80 you can see the ambient lighting um yeah it's pretty clean lots of carbon i'm very very interested to um see how it accelerates and how it feels um i just came from reviewing a g80 and a f90 m5 so this is gonna be pretty cool <laughs> dude i can't get enough of the backfires this is pretty sick <laughs> so yeah i don't think this is a hot take but the b58 sounds better than the s55 uh, let me know if you agree with that but i think for sure it sounds better i don't know actually you don't I know? just feel like the it sounds so raw when it comes to the S55. Yeah. Especially the downshifts and then just taking off. I feel like that sounds really good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I personally think the B58 sounds better, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. <laughs>
while we're in the car, um, why don't you talk about you know some things you've done to the interior to spice things up in here? So far, I mean, one of the main things that I definitely did that I love would be the starlights. I think it's about 800 to 1,000 stars. Can't remember exactly. Another thing I also did I'm doing is I added more ambient lighting. Before it was just this strip and then the part of the door, but I ended up adding the top part of the door as well. And honestly, pretty. I would say it matches OEM for the most part. It looks pretty good. And then one thing I do have coming next would be the steering wheel. Like I said, I'm gonna for sure probably do the LED one with the shift lights and everything, but I'm debating between either the Alcantara or just doing leather. Like I said, I know just Alcantara is more high maintenance. But yeah, and then other than that, I added the carbon fiber pack, like the trim that comes with it. And I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part in terms of the interior. What kind of advice would you have for future um, M340i owners and just like things for them to expect for this car? I would say one of the main things a lot of M340s go through when it comes to buying one would be figuring out what year you want to go with. Because obviously you want to go for the newest one. But the difference is compared to a 2020 like this one is that I think if it's made before January or either July, one of those two months, you don't have to ship out your ECU when it comes to tuning it. You can go straight to like a, a, a tuning, a performance shop. You can have them pretty much unlock the ECU for you right there. Compared to like buying a new one, that's where you have to ship out the ECU. I think you have to ship to like Finland and you have to wait like I think a couple weeks for you to get it back. I would say that's definitely one of like the pros about having a 2020. And overall, I mean, I know this year specifically, it does burble from stock, which a lot of people do like. Compared to like the new ones, I feel like they are more toned down when it comes to the sound. You have to just buy an exhaust, get down pipes to really wake it up. Compared to this, you know, it burbles pretty much from factory right out the box. If you're in the market for an M340i, just keep those things in mind. And yeah, it's a pretty solid car. I'm really impressed with it. Um, Sound-wise, I think it sounds amazing. Induction, exhaust. Uh, the b 58s always been one of the platforms that I've loved the exhaust sound on them, especially when it's like a titanium exhaust. I've definitely heard some of those, um, mm -hmm. like in the Supras. It sounds damn near exotic, you know, when you get the right exhaust setup. And like he was saying, it, it burble stock. So it's something that, um, you know, kind of, adds more flavor to the drive you know whether you're cruising or doing some uh, hooning activities yeah but. like i was pretty much telling him is that when it comes to waking this car up especially when it comes to the sound you don't have to do much you literally people i know a lot of people have done uh, just a muffler delete and i feel like that honestly sounds better than this exhaust because it's honestly loud i mean this car sounds really good loud and um I was saying, like, muffler deal is probably like 150, 200 bucks, and you're set. You don't have to do a downpipe with that. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, other than that, like I said, just get a downpipe, and that really wakes it up as well. So you don't have to do much to really get the sound out of this car. Comparing the Q60 and this um, car, what what are some things you like, you know, this car over the Q60? Number one thing gotta be, like I said, number one is the sound and then the technology for sure. Especially coming from the Q60, I mean, I hate how it had like the double din screen. And on the test, on the Q60, I did end up upgrading like the, pretty much the M4TM system and I got the, the Tesla screen, so it's actually pretty huge. And that added the Apple CarPlay and everything, but this, like I said, just coming stock has already everything I needed. One thing I like, um, one thing I do want to add for future plans as well is I want to get an intake for sure. I've heard a couple, one of them I was looking at was the MST one. That one has a really good flutter to it. And um, yeah, coming from like the Q6, like I said, I, I hate how outdated it is. Even now, like with the 2024s, like whatever new one they have now, it's the exact same thing when it comes to the interior. It still has like the double screens, which I feel like is kind of pointless and I honestly like the Tesla <laughs> one more. But yeah, definitely gotta be that. I, I do say, I can say that the Q60 overall does look better though, especially from the exterior. But this car, it definitely tops it for sure. <laughs> We need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the neighborhood is not gonna like that, but um, that sounded good. Definitely sounded good. That's one thing I do love is those shifts. When they have, like, the, I guess they call them the shift wraps. I love how that sounds. Dude, it's like I'm in the a Supra again. Like it's, it's like a Supra, yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm in a Supra again. So I, I test drove my friends. Um, his is tuned, uh, and that sound that he's referring to, it sounds you know identical between the two, and it's it's addicting to hear for sure. Like I you, love, it, you yeah. love to hear it, and it's very aggressive, and it makes you more engaged with um, you know the shift points and all that. But yeah, no, really solid car. 
I definitely have been enjoying my first experience with an M340i. I'd say for the value, it's definitely worth it. I mean, I got this car for around 48 after taxes and everything. And for the price, it's definitely worth it. I mean, like I said, the next big thing would definitely be like the G80 or the S58. But for the price and what you get in terms of looks, power, technology, it's worth it. It was fun talking about the cars and all that, but why don't we talk about what you do to afford the cars? Because I'm sure some people would wonder that. And, and it's an interesting talking point. So what do you do to afford these cars? Yeah, so I mean, for me, I start off with marketing. That's one thing I do full time. Obviously, I've tried other things like crypto and all that, but it just didn't work out. But definitely marketing has been my main source of income. I primarily do work with a lot of artists. That's my main my main thing is I do. I work with a lot of artists, a lot of rappers, upcoming artists and do blogs, press, stuff like that. All right, so if you guys are trying to come up, you're in the music space, hit this guy up. I have his Instagram below. Um, also, like I mentioned in the video before, it was actually his birthday recently, so you can, ha you can wish him a happy belated. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. I said, the only thing that sucks is that this happened over my birthday. Yeah. I was just coming out of me, and then some empty Ford is in front of me doing burbles and threw some rocks at me, which sucks. Damn. Let me know if you have any windshield plugs. Yeah, man. Hey, hit him, hit him with some windshield plugs, because yeah. uh, that windshield, it's, it's, the crack's getting bigger every day. Literally, like earlier I touched it right there, you can see like a little fingerprint. Literally, that was a couple hours ago, and now look how much bigger I got. Yeah, that's not good. So I'm gonna do a quick walk around of my own just to kind of check out the car. As you can tell, the wrap is really, really reflective and shiny. You can see the clouds through it. You can even see me filming, but um, this car looks really good. I love the front end. I definitely always love the front end of these cars. Um, I also love the center caps that he has. They're pretty rare. I don't see that on these cars, or not these cars. I don't see this on many, uh, TEs, so this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'd actually consider getting these if um, they weren't so expensive. The body lines are really accentuated with the wrap. The carbon, um, the carbon fiber mirror caps are really cool. Like, I like how big the actual side mirrors are. Um, it's definitely bigger than mine. You can see mine directly right there. And yeah, overall, really like it. Um, like he was saying, it looks almost identical to the the G80 M3. The rear at least and i think it really looks aggressive um i've always thought this since the g80 came out um i love the g80's rear the most out of any m3 that came out overall really enjoyed um experiencing the m340i love how it sounds accelerates pretty good and overall it's a nice car it has good road presence and you can get them for like you know, high 30s to 50s, I would say. And it's just up to your budget and how much, you know, mileage you'd want on it and the condition. But yeah, it's a solid choice for any car enthusiast. So I didn't forget, <laughs> I didn't forget. Um, and yeah, they're not the OGs like you were saying, but here, you can have it for free. Thank happy you, birthday. Bro. I appreciate it, thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you.